Well, we are about knee deep in snow up here in the northeast. We just got slammed with about 18 inches of snow. So, yeah, as you see, I'm just uh, shoveling out my snowmobile, getting it ready to ride and uh, get it all uncovered and stuff. And right here, you see that I uh, got about five feet and uh, didn't go fast enough and uh, got her stuck. So, uh, we decided to uh, go and shovel the thing out and uh just get it unstuck and uh as you see right here uh we get the thing fired up again and it's ready to roll as you see my dad takes over here for a little bit trying to cut in the trails of 550 my player's 550 is a little bit on the heavier side um so you know he goes through the trails uh, for a little bit and he's doing good and he comes around and uh, all of a sudden gets stuck in the snowbank again so that would be my third time of the day snowmobile, or, uh, uh, trying to uh, shovel out a snowmobile here. Um, so at this point, a little bit frustrated. Don't know why I got to keep shoveling this snowmobile out. You know, snowmobile meant for snow is supposed to, you know, it's supposed to handle good in snow, but guess not today. Uh, but anyways, uh, at this point, I think we decided to uh, bring the snowmobile back to uh, the house and uh, grab my uh, brother's uh, Skidoo 440. Uh, it's a little bit lighter and agile, so we can go through the snow a little bit better. So that's what we decided to do. So we get back to the house, and uh, we start pulling the 440, and we soon realize that the thing's flooded. So I think we decided to cut our losses and, um, you know, call it a day. So anyways, four days later, we are back on the uh, back on the snowmobiles, and it's time to ride and start the thing up. And we are ready to roll. Now this is my first time out in probably about two or three years. We haven't been uh, too fortunate to get a lot of snow up here, so I am super excited. And um, anyway, just kind of taking a test lap here, making sure that no one's coming on my driveway right there. And um, you know, taking it nice and easy for the first time. Gotta get used to the sled again. And um, you know, just having fun in this fresh powder. This powder is like white and fluffy, so it's fun to fun to mess around on it and also get you in a lot of trouble fast if you're not careful on it. So, as you see, just going into a fresh pile and uh, hitting some snow picked up there. And uh, a lot of fun and stuff there for you. And I just decided to go straight out into fresh snow. I was like riding, riding a jet ski through this stuff. It's so much fun. And, um, you know, just having a good time and everything. And, um, uh, You'll see here in a minute, uh, um, I got a couple of uphill climbs that I try to make into jumps, and um, so, I don't know, I think I get some air on it, not too sure, uh, could be, could be wrong, but anyways, as you just heard, I, that thing was just roaring, I had that thing wide open coming up that hill, it was, um, it, my track was just spinning like crazy, so I had that thing full bore wide open up the thing. But anyways, we are in the woods now. Uh, cut in the woods about a couple of months ago. Uh, started riding it with my dirt bike and then winter hit. So uh, taking it through with the snowmobiles here. And uh, just seeing how the snowmobiles are going to uh, act in the woods and stuff. Uh, the trail that I'm on right now is kind of tight and tony. Um, so I figured that I better go slow, just in case a rail tree, the damage won't be severe. But actually, um, my snowmobile's handling pretty well, so uh, a little bit more comfortable in it. And um, I just keep coming out of here. I got, got a little up here climb here. I just nailed the gas right about here. I'm hoping to get some air. So I don't know. I don't know if I got air or not, but I'm going to call it that I got air. But anyways, uh, we reverse it and we go backwards in the woods that we were just in. And. Uh, it's definitely different coming backwards. Um, there's definitely spots where it's easier and spots where it's harder. Like right there, it's a little bit on the harder side to try to turn with them. Um, but nice and windy and stuff. It's kind of, you know, it's, it's fun going through these woods. It takes a little bit of skill to get through them and everything. So, you know, just having a good time out here and just happy that there's snow again um, to ride on. <laughs> Our snowmobiles have been sitting in the garage for about two, three years now, like I said earlier. And it's just nice just to get this, uh, get this snow and finally ride again. Um, but anyways, you know, just coming through the woods and, um, we'll, we'll exit these woods and we'll enter the field right here and then we'll enter the woods again right through here. This is a small little section, we can us back to 
the, our front yard, um, right through here. As you see, my dad's up there in the 440, and um, just breaking in the trails again. Uh, nothing really, nothing really to say through here. Just, uh, just some tight sections and stuff. So I figured I'd take it easy, um, just like in the other woods. So, but once you come out here, you open the enter the field, and uh, anyways, we're going for another lap right now. Um, just hauling up this hill. I gotta be careful here though. The <laughs> last thing I want to do is slam that building. So I decided that I'll, I'll sell my go for it, but I'm not gonna go for it all the way. But anyways, we behind here and I know the guys trying to get a little bit of air up here. So anyways, just kind of cruising and stuff at this point. Um, just having fun with the summer beer and getting used to the, uh, getting used to the train. And, uh, anyways, we go backwards again on the, on the wood section. Uh, this time, I think I give it a little bit more gas, and, uh, I think my back end kind of slides and stuff, so it's fun through there, because, you know, you, you twist and you twine and you go through there, and your back end comes out a little bit, and you just gotta give it a little bit of gas to see. It's a lot of fun, it takes a little bit of skill, like I said earlier. But uh, it's a lot of fun going up through there. And right here, I thought I was going to hit a tree because my, uh, my front ski got sucked into that, uh, that fresh snow. I thought I was going for a tree because I knew if I let up that I would have got stuck. But I knew if I, uh, you know, if I if I kept going, I was probably going to hit a tree. But luckily, I saved it somehow through, through strength and endurance. So, yeah, that's quite good. I almost, uh, I almost clipped that tree branch. So I had to duck my head and move out of there for a couple of seconds. But yeah, going back into the woods and stuff, uh, around here it gets a little bit boring. We got about 10 acres at my house, so a lot of it's uh, open field. So you gotta, you gotta look for uh, some new opportunities in my property. But um, couldn't ask for any better uh, property. It's got a mix of woods and fields, so it's perfect. Um, so anyway, just coming through and everything. and. Um, you know, at this point, I'm getting really comfortable with my snowmobile, and uh, I think through here, we just decided to give it a little bit of gas and stuff. Right through there, it's a little bit icy, um, but you know, um, just just, uh, just a nice day to be out here and just coming in some trudges. Like I said before, it's uh, a lot of a lot of fun getting this uh, fresh white powder and everything, and um, you know, just uh, getting some skiing and stuff in there, and just a lot of fun. Got a lean and stuff, and it's just a lot of fun uh, just going through that fresh snow. And you can see, I was just kind of hauling and stuff. So, um, yep, just going through some more fresh powder. I mean, just a lot of fresh powder to be uh, living at my house. So, just, you know, having a good time with all this fresh powder and stuff, just enjoying it. Like, like nobody's business, just absolutely love it. I think I spent maybe, maybe an hour just trying to break in a bunch of my trail. Yeah, and right there, I was I was just saying, my sister's in front of me. She's just going to have a guy uh, saying, but it was pretty cold out there. So I think I was saying that my face is cold or something. I don't know what I was saying. I don't know what I was doing. But anyways, make the pass on her, and I uh, go back into my own little world of snowmobiling. And uh, just trying to hit this uh, jump here again. I'm trying to get some air on it. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of tricky and stuff to get some air. But right through here, I'm just hauling the mail. And I try to uh, try to jump the thing. I think I did. But I don't know. I don't know what I did if I did it or whatever. But anyway, just hit some more fresh powder. But, you know, it was a definitely a good day out here. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching and come back again for more.